So we placed our uh, a port and then our multiple instruments through that through the vaginal area, long instruments that would reach all the way up to the right upper side of the abdomen where the gallbladder is. Then we basically operated using those ports and instruments and removed the gallbladder through the vaginal area as opposed to making a big incision right at the belly button to take it out like we normally do with our laparoscopic technique. The presumed advantages would be no hernia. The other advantage is the big one is post-operative pain is decreased to none because you don't have any abdominal incisions except one small one at present. You only have one small incision and that's it. No incisions in the upper abdomen at all. You don't have uh, any extra incisions on the upper abdomen and you don't have to make a big incision to take out the gallbladder. Hence, in long term, they may have less chance of forming a hernia there. It's resilient and it's a very forgiving and really well vascularized tissue, which means it heals really well postoperatively, just like puncturing through a stomach. Uh, you, it seals up faster and it heals faster because it has a great blood supply. Same thing with the vaginal area. The female organs there, uh, they have good blood supply and things heal up much faster. Hence, if things heal up faster, patient has less pain overall and less discomfort postoperatively. We've been using our standard laparoscopic tools, only longer, if you will, and uh, using the existing technology that we have. It's one of the most common surgeries, just like hernia surgery that we do every day. The newer generation that's being trained are more and more facile with endoscopes and laparoscopes, and therefore combining the two would give them an advantage.